All right, we're back. This is Gloomhaven for the PC. So we're um, picking up where we left off last time, but there's a little bit of a change. So first of all, um, I did spend the little money I had and I bought a minor stamp potion and um, we went out on a mission. So let's, let's first do the city encounter. You're wandering through the street, the city streets late at night when you hear a terrifying scream high above you. You look up just in time to see a body falling toward you and jump out of the way. It lands with a wet thud on the ground. You are not the only ones to hear the scream, and quickly a small crowd forms around the corpse, including a couple of city guards. The body is clad in black leather armor, and a long, thin blade conspicuously protrudes from its back. You remark that the sword somehow looks familiar. What? asks the guard. This is the third murder, like this in a week. Tell me everything you know. Well, um, apparently it's uh, our buddy the Night Shroud's sword. You explain that you recognize the sword from the time you spent traveling with the Night Shroud. As a capable assassin, he is likely to be the one behind the murders. You explain, however, that since he left the group, you have no knowledge of his whereabouts or dealings. The guard thanks you for the information, and we leave. Alright, so the quest we decided we wanted to do was... Um, the Retrieve the Artifact quest. Um, and so I actually went on this quest. Um, I got into the second, well, the third room. And I'll explain what happened when we get there. Heading down the main road, you see an odd-looking wagon in front of you. It is covered in metal bars, and a number of ragged men in chains walk behind it. On either side of the wagon, you see city guards on horseback keeping a watchful eye on everything. You get closer, and one of the guards calls out to you. Keep your distance. We are transporting dangerous criminals. A moment later, one of the prisoners in back slips out of his manacles and begins to sprint full speed into the tall grass. Let's uh, help the guards catch their escaping man. The man's speed after spending months in jail is no match for your own. With the help of guards on horseback, you quickly have him cornered and returned to the wagon. Your road has led you here, to the Temple of the Elements, in search of an ancient artifact. It apparently holds great power, but anything more than that is very foggy at this point. You enter the decaying stone structure to see for yourself what all the fuss is about. As you step inside, your eye catches signs of recent visitors. A broken twig, footprints in the dust. You approach the main chamber, and ready your weapons as a group of hooded figures emerge from the shadows. Well, um, we would like to loot a chest, I think. Let's... Equipped items. What do we have? We've got pendant, boots, pots. So it's two pots and a pendant for pots again. That's five if we use boots twice, we're good, okay? Um, I think we want gold. Let's loot five or more gold piles. And then let's kill one elite monster. You're too late, fools, one of the cultists announces. We control this temple now, and all its power serves us. Alright, so the setup of this map, we're supposed to destroy four altars, and it appears that they are in these four little rooms. There's like a main room out here. Um, and until destroyed, each altar, including the unrevealed, increases the maximum hit point and attack stats of all demons by one, increases their movement and range stats by 0.5, rounded up. Melee attacks do not increase in range. Okay, so we're going to try to deal with the cultists first. Something like this. All right, so first things first, I'm going to walk up and punch. Or either break the chains and punch. Fatal Fury, break the chains. This is going to be prevention is key into... Um, actually, maybe I might vaccine. No, let's go prevention is key. 
into regenerative tissue. Um, we're going to go forked beam chromatic explosion. And then we're going to go with the all allies add attack. And then we'll go fresh kill. All right. Interesting. Okay, so the elites have innate add curse when they attack you. So this is going to be a little bit awkward. All right. I'm going to walk away just in case we kill them and they explode. Let's go ahead and grab... We'll potion back the Preventionist Key. Let's go ahead and net you. Just for next turn. Actually, I didn't have to because it's already disarmed. That was wasteful. And we're adding in air, so we can use Crackling Air next turn. Let's go ahead and get back Forked Beam. Then this is a... Attack... Poison. Attack again. Okay. So it explodes. Mitigate all of that. Cool. And then we attack here. Then skip the bolt. Good. Makes sense. Alright, now. Let's go. Unbridled power. From the brink. Actually, in reverse order. Let's go faster. I like race to the grave, but I'm going to shoot first. So solid bow, race to the grave. I'm just going to step over and grab this, I think. So, we want to go, like, and do no harm is fine, but I think we're just going to go bloody saw. Well, yeah, bloody saw and then hamstring, actually. Okay. Then we can go crackling air and reviving ether to move up. Right, so this is perfect. Um, we're going on a... Moving on from the entrance chamber, you find a large central room with many exits. In the center stands another group of cultists, preparing incantations around a reddish clay vessel, roughly the size of a skull. The artifact is ours, and it has made our minions more powerful than ever. The speaking cultist laughs. You cannot hope to stop what is coming. Even if you strike us down, the gloom will bring forth your end. The cultists raise their hands, and a barrier surrounds the artifact. So I actually messed up. There used to be a treasure chest here, and I grabbed it. Um, this is actually... So I restarted the... Um, the scenario, and uh, I basically exited the main menu and then started up the recording from that point. Um... And so I can't grab the chest anymore. So I think I'm not going to be able to fulfill um, the battle goal. Which I didn't think about when I did this. But then I will uh, explain my reasoning on why I uh, decided to restart the, 
this scenario. Okay. Crackling air with the uh, air elemental to get that, and then we're just gonna chill. Okay, so I want probably this. I want to kill one or more elite monsters, so we're gonna focus on that. And then solid bow doesn't get us anywhere, so we're just gonna skip attack. Maybe I should have potted solid bow, we'll see. Right, they've healed each other to full. We can stun one. I can distraction and then stun. I guess it doesn't matter. I don't need to distraction and stun. I can retaliate and stun. Makes sense. All right, so I want to be able to press the attack, but I have to actually move up. So we'll do this. Um, this might actually be a preventionist key round. So what if I do this? One, two, three. Oh, I can't get there. I used my hamstring already. Well, that sucks. Well, I'll vaccine then. All right, first aid vaccine. Then um, it makes the most sense, I think, to forked beam flame strike here. All right, we're all summoning. Oh, don't like that. I think I'm going to purposely roll disadvantage so I can potentially get a um, loot refresh roll. Okay, lost the curse. That's good. Then um, we don't need to do this. We can stun one of you. Let's stun. you, I think. Okay. Um, we can just sit here. Confirm targets. Yep, that's fine. Alright. So this is gonna be a big shoot on you. Okay. And we can pot the big shoot, press the attack, and... I guess we can even use fresh kill. Alright, that's two turns of big attacks. So what's our goal here? If we can somehow... Kill one. Well, that's stunned already. Hmm. Unfortunate. Alright, well. Let's get Forked Beam and Flame Strike both back. We're gonna end up facing three skeletons. Press the attack again, or no. Relentless offensive. Like this. Okay. I mean, we could change this to detonation, actually. 
right? So for example, we could press the attack into detonation. Detonation here, press the attack, goggles, kill it, and then that just does a big, yeah, okay. That was enough explanation. <laughs> we can stun here and we can um, hand of the surgeon. That's pretty good. Um, and then we can Well, what if we don't goggles? Now nah, we're gonna long rest. Okay. So how about this? We'll mana bolt and then flame strike. God, what a this is such an obnoxious thing to do. Right? Because if I explode here, then that's going to do two attacks worth of damage. No. Let's do this first. Okay. We'll attack over here. That's fine. Let's go ahead and use this. Grab the curse while we have it. Then what are we doing? Forked beam again. Flame strike, mana bolt. Oh, we still have forked beam, okay. All right, well. We're gonna do it. It's just too good. Like, this value is too high. So the Berserker is just gonna have to eat a bunch of damage. I'm sorry, Berserker. Ah. Oh, you know what's crazy? I think they weren't able to do their death attack because I killed them before their turn. I didn't know how that, that that's how it worked. That's actually insane. Okay, well, we're going to stun you for next turn. You're also poisoned. Congratulations. Nice. So that accidentally ended up being like a really, really good situation so but now you've activated your death attack so we're gonna walk over here um and slap you in the face so this is probably swift trickery rain of arrows got it then this is a not gonna bother healing kind of situation. Something like this, okay. And then flame strike is fine. Mana bolt flame strike. All right, so first of all, let's do this. Um, and then we don't even need to attack you. We can just go loot gold. Gain advantage and slap you in the face. Good. Then this is put mark on you. And then attack you with the mark. Goodbye. All right. All right, we did it. So Sawbones can then, like, I don't know, move and get loot. I feel like Sawbones has um, mobility issues, so we're going to move. So I decided to go through this door the first time. I'm just going to go ahead and go through the same door. Um, and, uh... Tragedy happened, and I ended up restarting the mission. Long rest. Um, 
long rest. And I actually think... I'm gonna do this. Yeah. Well, no, right? This is like literally impossible. Well, maybe not. No. I think I'm just gonna long rest, okay. So then I guess we just move up. Fresh kill is usable next turn. Bluntless offensive is usable next turn. I think we're just gonna do this. Sure. All right. Oh. Like this. And we're dropping Resolute Stan because we're not getting much value out of that. We're dropping... Probably not hamstring. Kind of like all these cards. I feel like do no harm is also really good. But I want poison and I want wound. Which means we're either dropping stun, but I feel like we're going to get value from the stun. So I guess we just drop... But this is like our big heal card. But this is very unfortunate. I guess do no harm. That's a big move card. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, fine. We have other sources of wound. <laughs> uh, all right, and we're dropping chromatic explosion. Okay, so this is a big engage turn. We've got boots. We can go up and stun. Dazing wound is, I think, a good way to stun. But it's also a good, whatchamacallit, so let's just do this. Um, we're going to go this and this. Actually, maybe we'll go late. Later. Hamstring is good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hamstring into prevention is key is not bad. Um... Reviving Ether into Forked Beam is also not bad. Alright. Shall we? Let's take a look. One, two, three, four. Well. Alright. So, we see the demons, and um, there's this altar. And each altar adds one to their maximum health point, one to their attack, and it increases their movement and range stats by 0.5. But those are not reflected on here, and I didn't realize that. So this is a move two, right? That's a lie, it's actually a move four. And so I positioned my character, like assuming it was a move two, it walked up and slapped me for like eight. And uh, that was just, like, it just upset me so much. I was like, all right, we're just redoing all this nonsense. Um, because I need to understand that that's the information that it's giving me. So, um, the range is also increased. So it's a move, th move four, range four. Okay, so it doesn't matter. We just have to go up. Um, but we can. Do they have innate retaliate? They do. Okay, so we're going to skip the movement here. Go up to here. Okay. And then shoot. What? what? Did I not select a second target? Oh, never mind. There we go. Okay, so there's a curse. Sometimes the game scares me, because, like, the interface, man. It's, uh... One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, 
that's... Oh, nope, I need to use this. Good, good. So we're going to get hit really hard here. Um, but, yeah, it's an attack for eight. That's what the Berserker's for. Just getting hit really hard. Okay. So now, um, we can walk up and then disarm here. Then we'll go here. And then fork beam. Boop, boop. We can fork the beam again next turn. Okay. This is mana bolt fork beam. We're going to heal and strengthen. Um, we need to watch out for retaliate. So I don't have a push attack. But if it dies, it doesn't get to retaliate. So we'll do this. Long rest here. This is a hold back the pain into a attack four, I think. All right, heal here. Berserker can go... No. Here. So I want the Berserker to eat the hit, I think. Oh, nope, the Berserker did not eat a hit. Alright, well, um, in that case... I mean, whatever. Just do this. It doesn't matter, right? But we can't move anyway because we're immobilized. Alright, very smooth. Um, significantly better than the uh, first time I tried to do this. Um, it helps a lot to understand. Well, I mean, I guess it didn't matter in that case because they were ranged attacks. But I, I think, like, in any strategy game, right? Like, understanding the interface and understanding the uh, information the game's giving you is kind of crucial. Okay, so we'll walk up and hit. Fatal Fury is fine. I'm pretty sure we can't doom it. So I guess we'll just Solid Bow. Flight of the Flame. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we'd have to actually walk in. So how about we use, like, detonation? Actually, I might use detonation. Hmm. Multi-pronged. Okay. We'll do this. Then... It's immune to poison, right? It's immune to poison. It's not immune to poison. Okay, so I can poison if I want to next turn. I think this into... Vaccine into this. Can I go faster? Oh, I mean, I can. I can first aid into vaccine. Um, okay. So that way everyone's attacks will have poison applied. We can do this into... Elemental aid. And then just grab gold. We 
we can long rest next turn. So it makes sense to actually boots here. All right, so we'll go that room next. Berserker, skip attack, move up. Unfortunate. There we go. We have curses left. No curses left. Single curse left. No curses. Single curse left from the uh, item we use. Okay, cool. So this is... Hmm. I guess we'll go late. That way. We can set up nicely. So actually what I can do... Hmm. If I'm afraid, I could just sit back and then race to the grave from infinite distance, but I don't think I'm gonna. However, what I can do is open the door, run away. Oh, but infinite grave, erase the grave is a bottom action. Right, so I just want to get in position. So it's got to be this. Fire the flame and um, frightening curse. This is a boots turn. Okay, skip push, skip attack. Do I grab the gold? I think I do. Wait, hold on. How many gold piles have I looted? I think I looted two gold piles with you. No, three gold piles. Okay. So we're safe to start grabbing this. Good. Skip movement. We'll start this. That'll transfer dooms to nearby targets when they die. Go here. Heal here. Um, we can just heal ourselves for 1 EXP. We're dropping... Looks like elemental aid. Okay. Long rest here. We want somebody else to open the door. We want, like, fresh kill race to the grave. Um, long rest here. We don't have to long rest. We can just short rest, I think. Vaccine is a bit unfortunate, but... Alas. One, two, three, four, five, six seems too short. We're gonna um, hamstring next turn, I think. So it makes sense to go one, two, three, four, first aid. No, none of that makes sense. Hold back the pain is fine, heal, and then just walk around, okay? Flashing Burst is mobility. Fork Beam is also mobility. Okay. Uh, flashing Burst reviving Ether is fine, I think. Okay, what are we doing? It's a move two attack two, except it's not. It's rounded up, so it's actually a move four attack two. One, two, three, four. All right, so we're bootsing away. One, two, three, wait. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. So we're bootsing away to here. We're just gonna wait. Let them come to us. Yeah, we cannot actually doom the altar. Alright, well, we'll doom you. This is one, two, three, four. Okay, so we're safe here. We 
We want to stun. We're getting good value to Fatal Fury. Especially on the altars, right? Because we can just sit there and slap it twice. Um, break the chains. Yeah. One, two, three. Okay, so we want three into a stun. Dazing wound. Move three. Okay. Nope, I don't want to cancel, sorry. If you click the uh, one of the permanents up here, then it, you can cancel them. So this has to be a press the attack into relentless offensive, I think. Yep. Actually, you know what? Let's go swift trickery, relentless offensive. All right, then... Um, I can hamstring prevention is key and just disarm you guys. Actually, that means we don't have to stun this turn. We can just attack. Seeing red, growing rage. We don't have an element, so it's got to be flame strike. Unless I want to go forked beam. Sure. We'll do this. 93. Super slow. So I could strengthen, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go ahead and go here. Attack with disadvantage. Maybe we'll get a curse out. Nope, no curse. Okay. Doomstalker is going to do this. Into swift trickery. Sawbones is going to go into here. Then prevention is key. Okay. Then let's walk up. Smack you in the head. Oh, I should have poisoned there. That was dumb. I guess we can poison the altar. That might be a better value play. Alright. Congratulations. You get to do nothing. Shiny Distraction into Dazing Wound, just to stun it. Okay. Um, now, we can Detonation press the attack, I think. Because right, they explodes for three damage. Um, alternatively, we could explode this one and kill that. That's actually kind of smart. Let's do this. Um, and then we can go stun just in case, or we can attack. I think our goal is to do this. Syringe? When do we have to actually move this far to hit. Okay. Long rest here. They're going reasonably fast, but I think that's not an issue. I want to poison the altar, right? Unless... What's my card situation? I don't have enough move to get there, huh? One, two, three. I have boots. Okay, so I'm going to hold off. I'm going to go ahead and take two damage just to... Uh, stun, just in case. Right? Like, if everything fails, then we need to stun. Good. This is going to be Mark with Hex. Press the attack. And we're going to goggles this. Good. There's the null right there. And then we've got nothing to transfer to, so we skip. Sawbones is immobilized. Oh. Right. Right. So I should have saved my... Ugh. Forgot. I forgot. So uh, let's drop forked beam now. We'll go flashing burst. So this is a from the brink with boots into unbridled power for four damage. This is a long rest for goggles. This is just stuff. And this is gonna be flashing burst, reviving ether. Okay. 
so I have options. I can either attack for two or I can just start collecting loot. I think I'm just going to collect gold on the way out, right? That seems like the more intelligent thing to do. Skip movement. Attack for two. This is move with boots. Skip push. Attack. Use the fire. Use the poison. Good. Spell weaver. Um, I want to go two range because I have a bottom attack range too. There's the curse. Okay. We want to keep race to the grave. Um, if anything, we're dropping... Multi-pronged assault. Yeah, because we can't doom the uh, thing. All right, so we're going to do this, this. Um, huh. I guess solid bow. And then move five. One, two, just get in position. Okay, that's fine. Um, we can just short rest here. And then move back out. So we need a one, two, three. We can go move four, we can move, go move three. We have a move four. We have two move fours. All right, like that. Mana bolt flame strike. Let's do the mana bolt first. It's not enough damage, I don't think, so we'll go ahead and follow it up. Good. And we can heal you and walk away. This scenario is now going very smoothly, now that we understand what's going on. It's uh, kind of trivial. Which uh, I certainly appreciate. Move two. Alright, so we had what? We had ice demons, forest demons. We've got Flame Demons and Wind Demons, I think, is next. So I don't know which one's which, but that means they're both heavily shielded. And they have ranged attacks. So we just have to sit in front of the door, I think. And wait. And just not rush it. Um, yeah, we want Boots and Dagger. And then... One, two, three, four. Okay, that's fine. Do no harm. Um, and then whatever, syringe. We can short rest. Well, yeah, as long as we don't, well, this is fine. All right, redraw. That's fine. Um, so we're reviving ether into flame strike. We're just waiting. Cool. There's our quest. Skip ability. Do the thing. Undo. Click. Skip attack. We can boots because we got a rest. Okay. I think we might just leave this gold pile. All right. So. Fatal Fury just in case, because if they're low health targets, right, like we can just kill them. I want to keep my big moves. Um, hmm. I guess Shiny Distraction? From the Brink? I guess from the Brink. Okay. Yeah, because the, uh, the Flame Demons have Retaliate, but they also have Range Retaliate, so it doesn't... Well, 
you need push on the attack, not push on the move, right? So this is going to be um, a move three kind of situation. Move four. Okay. Move four, move three. So long resting next turn, presumably. I have to be really careful. If you miscount the cards here, then like you just die. Okay, so I have to long rest. And then I have to use reviving ether after that. Actually, maybe don't use boots. Because we're long resting next turn on these guys. So we're going to burn Flame Strike, and then we're going to use Ether. Yes, like this. Okay, so we're taking long rest here. We're taking long rest here, and then we're just going to move up slowly. So this is going to be a move two kind of situation. Fatal Fury. Shiny Distraction. All right, does anybody need heals? I guess I can strengthen myself for fun. All right, so this was, I think, the optimal burn, recover burn, because we got, like, everything back, right? We didn't um, waste it all. Wait, yeah, okay, never mind. Like so, skip, attack. Now we're finally ready to move in. What are we dropping? Detonation? No, we want detonation. Um, probably solid bow. Mm, probably hand of the surgeon at this point. I think we're happy with doing other things. Okay. Shall we? Let, we shall. Okay, let's go this into this. Actually, unbridled power might be good. Get a stun off. Um, race to the grave. But we need somebody else to pop the door. So it's got to be like forked beam into... Chromatic explosion? Okay. And then we'll crackling air next turn and sort of like take a slow turn there. Maybe not. Maybe we crackling exposure... Uh, air between rooms. That actually seems like a better use of our thing. All right, elemental aid is fine. So then it's gotta be relentless offensive with five range, then race to the grave. Either way, I think we're fighting shielded enemies. And then we can use the old hamstring prevention is key. Okay, so we're going Oh, sorry, no. Move two. Um, let's boots. Alright, flame demons, what are you doing? Move two, attack four, range three. They have retaliate, range two. Good thing I've got range three, suckas. Okay. And this is very unlikely to do any damage um, because they've got three shield, but you never know. Might draw the next bit. Might even draw like curses against them. Oh, we draw both. Okay. So um, this is going to be a. Hold on. Sorry, this one. So we're dooming you. Well, here let's actually shoot first and then decide who gets doomed. Shoop shoop. Um, we can goggles. You're range attacking anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, do no damage. Do no damage. Okay. That's all we needed to know. 
you're gonna die next turn. All right, Sawbones. Skip movement and disarm. This combo is really strong, like, compared to the other things we used to do with our other characters. And I don't think we need to attack because they just have retaliate, right? So we can just wait, be patient. We can even just long rest next turn. Yeah, because this is just dead. I right? never got to attack. So how about we, well, we can short rest. Because we, all, we have our items up. All right, we lost the stun. And I think we're just going to walk up and start hitting the altar, right? Seeing red. Move four. Move three. Okay. Um, fresh kill. Press the attack is range 4, so we can't actually do anything. And we can move up. This is actually not a bad use of detonation, but um, the deal is we've got Frightening Curse up, so as soon as this dies it transfers Doom over here. Um, and unfortunately, oh, order. Because this acts first, it doesn't immediately take two damage on the same turn. But let's just go fresh kill. Um, do this into this. Okay. Um, we can just bottom action stun. We can give you a med pack. No, nobody's close enough. Um... Okay, we can heal ourselves back up for the, um, after we take retaliate damage. Sure, I like that idea. So this is a wound kind of situation. Into chromatic explosion. Into crackling air next turn. Alright. So here we go. Here's the stun. You take the retaliate. Eat it. Then immediately heal ourselves back up. Okay. Berserker can just boots in. Which means I didn't have to use a move to, huh? That's fine. Skip movement. Start slapping this. Poison the altar. Doom Stalker. Do I even bother with you? I guess I don't, right? Because it's just going to die naturally. I mean, it's a five. I mean, sure. Just such a high value. Well, <laughs> it dealt zero damage anyway. Wait, how did it deal zero damage? Because it's at full health. Target is undamaged, right? So I did with attack two. It's not registering as undamaged somehow. It's at full health, but it's not undamaged, question mark? I definitely got scammed here. If I had known I was not gonna get a plus two, I would not have attacked this. That's the game lying to me. I don't, I don't understand. Is this immune to wound? It's not immune to wound, okay. take crackling air well we're taking air use this we're just ignoring this idiot now okay transfer the doom we want fatal fury into um, just regular attack
Just press the attack. And then walk away. Yeah, okay, fine. First aid, do no harm. Crackling, air, flashing burst. That's actually a big attack it's gonna do. Well, at least this has potential to do damage. Right? Okay, so now it's dead. Alright, goodbye. Now we can go over here and just chill, I guess. No, crackling air. Yeah, we don't need to stand here because it's just going to get AoE'd. So the time is now. We're just going to collect all of the loot. Skip movement, give you stuff, confirm targets. And we're actually going to try to finish this out with you two. And I suspect we might be able to pull it off. Swift trickery. So I can move up and move back, short rest, and then do stuff. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, we're just going to short rest here and spend all the rest of our movement just getting loot. Syringe. Hold back the pain. Alright. One, two. Shoop, shoop. What do we got, Wind Demons? What are we doing? Move four. Okay. I mean, I could just stand in here and start shooting the uh, altar. That's something I can do. You know, let's just do that. It doesn't particularly matter if this fellow exhausts. Because we learned that once you satisfy your um, battle... What is it? Battle quest? Battle objective? Battle goal. That's what it is. Goal. Um, that like you, you are allowed to exhaust and you still get the credit for everything. Alright, so what do I want? I want... A flashing... Oh, sorry. No, I don't want... I want to throw away chromatic explosion now. Although I could... I mean, I could drop a big AoE on here and have a fun time. Alright, let's kill Elemental Aid then. Alright, short rest to you. Fine. Um, someone needs to go get that. Maybe not. Somebody needs to go get that. Okay. So uh, this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six hamstring. And then. Well, here. We don't have to hamstring. We just do this. Okay. Move four. Attack whatever. If I want to drop this, that's a range three. So I have to go one, two, three, four. I need a move five. I don't have a move five. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh my god, I can't do anything. Um, okay, fine. Disappointing. Disappointing indeed. So, I burned a race to the grave without even thinking. Um... I still with detonation then. Or I guess relentless offensive? Sure. With rain of arrows. Relentless offensive, no. 
not with Rain of Arrows. We're going to Rain of Arrows instead of Relentless Offensive. See how this treats us. Okay. One, two, three, four. Doomstalker. We can even retaliate. This almost does more damage than the other thing, but nah, we're just gonna do this. Oh, I can boots. Oh, I ha okay, fine. I could have Chromatic Explosion this turn. I messed up. Ugh. Oh. I guess I could have shot there. Maybe it wouldn't have mattered. Okay. This would be absolutely embarrassing if we uh, managed to not kill here. And if we actually have to, like, bring the other folks in. Okay. So, the way I want to do this is swift trickery into jump back. Actually, I can even just stand here and do it if I feel like it. Okay. But I want a chromatic explosion. This, this. Short rest, yes. Sure. One, two, three, f one, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I can hamstring to get to there. That was actually pretty exciting. Like, not gonna lie. Oh. My target is not doomed. I ran out of the thing, huh? Well, alright. Oh, there it is. Haha. End turn. And then I hit a loot one action. Okay, okay, okay. We're, like, so close to being done. Um, I can either... I have advantage. So I can probably just do this. And just shoot into it. And I think that's probably better than stepping back. Yeah, easy. Alright, Sawbones gets to grab this. And then heal for 1 EXP. Long rest here. This is just attack. I mean, it's not undamaged, but whatever. I can even walk up and start meleeing it. Um, to be a little bit careful with exhausting. All right, fine. I want the wound. You have to be really careful with this, because I have, like, one more round of attacks and I exhaust. Okay. Um, we can actually long rest here. Absolutely easy game. Skip movement. Attack melee. Alright, we finished it. Missed one gold pile, but that's totally fine. We got everything else. Um, and that's very satisfying for me. So it turns out the mission was not bad at all, and honestly, it had to do with the Sawbones getting off a hamstring um, 
what was it, prevention is key, like, in every room. And that was just... With the, you approach oh, sorry. the center of the temple and reach out for the vessel, but stop short. You feel a powerful darkness emanating from the thing, and behind that, a deep sadness. The artifact has been corrupted, and it seems to almost be cognizant of that fact. All of these feelings flash in your mind as a warning. It could be used for great evil, but would you fight for that evil or against it? After some effort, you use a thick cloth to get the vessel into your bag. Perhaps it would be best to bring it to an enchanter rather than mess with it yourself. And I think this is, you know, my theory on... Oh, I didn't get to kill an elite? I thought I blew one up. Maybe I didn't. Maybe it doesn't count if Doom kills it. I'm not sure. Um, but getting a good engage is so important. And so, like, all of that super lame, like, you know, wasting cards and then long resting in front of the door just to charge in um, is what's making all the difference. Like, if you get a little bit sloppy with your engages, um, it, it, like, you take a lot of damage, you have to burn cards, um, you end up resting in awkward situations, and it's just a bad time for everybody, right? So, let's see, what do we got here? Um, I already got my curse. I can put a plus two fire card in the deck. Um, yeah, I mean, why not, right? Like, so the question is, do I want... Actually, maybe I put a stun card, right? Because I do a lot of, like, single targeting early in the turn. If I get a stun off, that's just a nice bonus. All right. Now, the immediate thing we would like to buy is a major stem pot. Perfect. Nice. Um, we want a helmet. Iron helmet? I think so. Yeah, just, like, because there are going to be times when we're, like, kind of low health because we're trying to, like, be low health. I mean, we've been failing at being low health, but, like, you get cracked on the skull for an X2, and um, this will prevent that. Um, the other thing I think we're just... Oh, we want to save up for this, but we don't have the gold. That's fine. We don't have boots, and we're struggling to get around. So I think we're going to grab boots... We don't have Boots of Striding anymore. Who has Boots of Striding? You do. To be fair, we're making good use of Boots of Striding. I think we keep it. Do we have another small item? You know, this is the funny thing. Now that I think about it, this chromatic explosion, the bottom half could be just taken care of with a minor mana pot. I do like the, the top half now, though. It's kind of fun. Like, it's a good mission ender. Get a power potion? Healing potion? I don't know, I'll think about it. I mean, 111 gold, I'm just still saving up for uh, cool enhancements. Could do a curse. But the thing is, right, like, if I... Hmm. Like, a disarm is just so much more powerful than a curse. Because a curse is, like, a chance for them to roll a zero. A disarm is they just can't attack you, right? So if I just keep saving up money, that's just a better enhancement, I think. Um, and since, you know, this is the funny thing. Since our goal is to buy enhancements, um, rather, like, our personal... What is it called? Personal quest? Some, I, I think these are called goals. I think it's personal goal, not personal quest. Um, we get to keep this character until we eventually shell out the money to buy the things we want. So that might be like a perfect way to keep a strong character going, just to like hold the backbone of the party. Bring hail the vessel. We have to fight? Against night demons, deep terrors, and black imps. Okay. Well, I think we're going to visit the Temple of the Oak. I said I wanted to save up for a major pot. Ooh, 
We'll get it eventually. Okay, that's plus one prosperity. We just need one more prosperity to get to Gloomhaven Wealth. Five? Did I look at that correctly? Oh, did we tick up from four to five? I don't know. Well, that's less impressive. I thought it was going from five to six. My brain. But anyway, um, I think that's a perfect place to uh, take a break. It's been a pleasure. I will see some of you next time. Peace.